I work at Guild, which I'm sure everybody here using for your high fashion purchases. But uh, today I'll be talking about something completely different. Uh, I want to talk about bellwether. Uh, bellwether is a bell which is put around the neck of, uh, of a ram called weather for some reason that leads the flock. Bellwether was invented in uh, medieval England where our medieval colleagues, which apparently were all employed in ship herding, decided that it's much easier to, to listen for the bell than to run up and down foggy hills looking for the damn flock. Basically, they, they decided that it's much easier to work on simulated data that has all the property of, of the big data than what we call now collect observations and then analyze them. So I'll present you one of the best bellwethers I came across, and then if there is time, I'll, I'll show you one that I came up uh, to myself. So to put you in the contents, let's, let's consider Eastern Europe, 1941. So there are two homicidal maniac dictators, which are very similar to each other. Uh, they have peace treaty between them. Each of them is looking to, to attack and dominate the world. Uh, so to summarize geopolitical situation, it's something like this. Uh, it's very important for each of them to figure out intention of the other side. And there are different ways to do it about it. Uh, Russians, for example, could uh, send spies, and they did. All spies told that Germans are ready to attack. They could interrogate defectors, and they did. Defectors gave them exact date of German invasion. But Russians decided to ignore all of that because they found perfect bellwether. Naturally, it had to do with sheep. The idea was that uh, if you're going to wage any kind of war in Russia, you need to be winterized. You need to have a sheepskin coat for everyone of your soldiers. It's been proven by the data science team of, uh, led by Napoleon, <laughs> which, which is uh, uh, summarized here by our colleagues in, in uh, OK Data. So, and that didn't end well. So Russians thought that if Germans are ready to invade, they need to slaughter a lot of sheep. And that has to reflect on market price for sheepskins and for lamb meat. And this is amazing bellwether because it cannot be manipulated. You cannot hide ship slaughter of this proportion. So Russians were just sitting in Moscow monitoring market price for, for lamb meat. It didn't budge. So they decided you, you just, Hitler is not going to invade. When me as a, as a kid and budding data scientist first heard about it, I said, wow, this is brilliant. This is amazing. Uh, since then, I'm on lookout of uh, bellwethers of my own. And then I actually rem remembered that uh, Germans did attack. <laughs> Millions lives were lost. Russians were taken totally by surprise, lost half of the country, uh, huge pain and suffering. But then winter came, and Germans eventually lost the war. So thinking about it now, I'm trying to understand what lessons we as data scientists can learn from, from all this. Once that I figure out for myself, no matter how elegant your model is, uh, don't fall in love with it. <laughs> Which come to think about it is a good idea in many other professions as well. But for, for us, it's, it's very important. Another thing, even if reality proves you wrong, hang out. Don't don't commit suicide, you might be right after all. <laughs> and third one, read the outcome correctly. Because the bellwether, I still think it was brilliant and perfect. It just, they read it wrong. They read it as if Germans are not buying sheepskins, they're not going to attack. What they should have read it, if Germans are not buying sheepskins, they're not going to win. <laughs> Which turned out to be like quite a difference. So, so with, with that in mind, I'll, I'll, I'll briefly show you the uh, bellwethers that I come off my nose. Naturally, it deals with sheep. Uh, no, it deals with uh, gift cards. Uh, so I, uh, I don't know if you know or not, there is a secondary market for the ship cards, uh, for the gift cards. So I, I, I scraped one of, one of the sites, 
and plotted it on, on this plot. Uh, the, this vertical is discount at which gift cards have been sold. This is number of cards available. So you see that different companies deal, and I'm on borrowing time now, like look very, very different. So basically, I'm trying to measure how much customers are willing to pay not to do business with certain companies. Which, which would come as, uh, as a huge discovery to many companies because everybody believes that customers love us. This proves it's not true for everybody. So like this is one of the outliers. I was like, what's wrong with JCPenney? It's doing terrible. It turns out it's a big trouble. Then I measured several weeks later, they're doing marginally better, but they're not out of the woods. So now when I hear something in the news about the company, I look at my bellwether and it, because I think it's not manipulated and in a way it's more accurate than let's say company stock price because it shows intent of potential customers. If you have bellwethers of your own, give, drop me a line, we'll talk about it. 